Hello everyone. So a few days back, I asked you guys if you'd like me to share the preset or the tone that I used on the ISO collab video that I recently put out. It was an extremely, extremely fun video to put together with all of my friends from across the globe. And we did, uh, we did cover an extremely epic rock anthem from the classic rock era by ACDC called Highway to Hell. If you haven't checked out the video, go and check it out. So I thought I'll make a quick video trying to showcase you what are the things that I used in that preset. And uh, without wasting any of anybody's time, let's dive into the axe edit and dial it in. So yes, I've got the axe edit in front of me and I've got pretty much a blank preset in there. And just to let you guys know how the DI signal of the guitar sounds like, I've got nothing in the signal chain. This is how we are sounding. I'm playing on the bridge pickup on my Uniball Music Man JP15. Everything's at full. Nothing very exciting, is it? <laughs> but we shall make it exciting. What do we need? We need more gain. Definitely, we need more gain. <laughs> so when it comes to classic rock, the first amp that probably comes to my mind at least is Marshall. Now, Marshall's been used quite a lot by many bands and I'm not saying that this is what was used on the actual track. When I dial in these kind of presets and when I'm playing with the band specifically, I tend to choose a sound which kind of fits in well in the mix and doesn't you know get lost in the mix and stands out as well and also complements the other guitar player in this case there was another fantastic guitar player playing with me mr christy samuel if you haven't checked him out go and do so incredibly talented guitar player a lot of marshals available in the axe fx2 you can go with the plexi or you can go with a slightly different one what i chose is the marshall jvm series i know i know it's slightly a uh, higher gain sort of an amp but i like it that way purely because it hides my mistakes and it serves my weak little fingers really well. <laughs> anyway, so let's go and select the amp. For the amp, as I said, I'm going to choose a Marshall Brit JVM. This is going to be Brit JVM OD2 Orange. It's got a lot of gain in there to knock anybody's socks off, but we're not going to use that much gain. So we're going to come back to that in a minute. For the cab, I pretty much chose a stock cab, which is what I always do. I chose the 4x12 Basket Weave uh, G12 M20. Now, Basket Weave series, I found that they work really well uh, with any of the Marshalls in the Axe FX2. So I'm going to choose that one. I believe this is a Celestian Basket Weave Marshall IR. I chose that one. Now, before I change anything anywhere, let's hear how everything is sounding at stock. <laughs> That sounds pretty good right off the bat. I mean, I haven't changed anything. So let this be a testament sort of, you know, sometimes presets need to be really, really simple and don't need to be so complicated, but that's not the kind of sound we're looking for. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and tame the preset and bring the gain down so that we can suit it to sort of a crunch, sort of a tone. First things first, I'm gonna bring down the input drive anywhere between two and 2.5 should be good enough. Uh, I'm gonna go with 2.4. Bass, I'm going to keep it at 5. Mids, I'm going to push up to 5.4. Treble, I'm going to push up to 7.5. It's going to make the preset shine out a little bit more. And the presence, I'm going to push up to 5.3. We don't want it too bright though, to be honest. Depth, I'm going to keep it where it is. Uh, master volume, I'm going to push up as well to 5.4. And since I pushed up the master volume, I'm going to compensate with minus 11.7, around about there to balance out the preset so that we don't have any clipping. Now for the cab, I pretty much pushed the high cut, uh, the low cut up to 80 hertz and the high cut, I brought it down to around 9500. This is gonna cut off some of that top end over there, although it was pretty much fine at 10,000 as well, but let's hear how this is sounding now. <laughs> I don't know if you, you can hear it, but there are these gaps in between whenever you play this sort of a track, especially this track. I'm not playing the exact track, you know why, because of YouTube. But whenever you play something like that, you can hear these muffled notes in between and that's to cut those sort of notes out and to make the piece a little more tighter. What I used is also a gate expander in between the amp and the cab. Uh, set the threshold to minus 35. 
ratio to 1.4 attack I'm going to bring it down to 1 and the hold I'm going to keep it at 45 again everything by ear no specific reason for doing this let's hear how that is sounding <laughs> Now that sounds pretty nice and pretty much that's the preset that I used for the rhythm tone over there. All I did was add it in a reverb as well. Now the reverb is purely optional. I like it with a slight bit of reverb. Uh, bring the mix down to 9%, not too much of it. And I chose a London plate. It's a really good reverb whenever you're dialing that 80 sort of a tone. Quality I set it to high and this is how we're sounding. Enough reverb in there. That sounds really nice. So that's pretty much the rhythm tone that I used in there. Now you might say, there's a lot of gain in there, GT, but yes, you can always tame the gain down. This preset kind of cleans up nicely as well if you're playing on lower volumes on your guitar. So if you roll down the volume knob, you'll probably get something like this. Probably even further down. So I guess it cleans up pretty nicely as well, the preset. Now for the lead, what I did is I added in more gain and I obviously added a, you know, a delay as well, which is pretty obvious. For delay, you can choose pretty much anything. I went with a mono tape and uh, I set the tempo to one fourth and mixed to around 20%. And the EQ, I always bring this down so that it doesn't interfere with my actual painting. The repeats are gonna be sitting at the back and not interfering with your actual playing. So with that done, I think I put the gain up as well. Let's say around, this has a lot of gain, this amp, so probably keep it around four or five. Let's keep it at five. So with that done, this is how it's sounding. <laughs> That's pretty much it folks hope you guys enjoyed the preset and let me know in the comment section below whether you want me to put this up on the exchange or you can pretty much dial it in alongside the video as i did um, and while you're doing that make sure you hit that subscribe button as well if in case you like the content and make sure you give this video a like as well it's not too much to ask for is it <laughs> And I shall see you in the next video pretty hopefully pretty soon. Uh, the next tone quest is quite due from a while now, I think, and I'm pretty much getting there. And hopefully the next video is going to be that. Till then, stay safe, guys, and be good to one another. Keep rocking, guys. Cheers. Bye-bye.